What's up, my mathletes? This is Mr. Muscarella coming at you. And in this video on polynomials, we're gonna take a look at the x-intercepts of a polynomial and see what happens at the x-axis. Does the x-intercept pass through the x-axis or does it bounce on the x-axis? So bounce, 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 or pass through? What are we gonna do? So we're gonna explore some patterns here so that you can uncover what that is all about. So here we go, let's take a look at these couple examples here. So just passing through or bouncing along, that's what we gotta figure out, right? So we're gonna take a look and I want you to pause the video and hit that type x minus one squared, f of x equals x minus one squared into your calculator of Desmos. And this one should be pretty straightforward and you should kind of sort of recognize that one already because that is a quadratic and it's already in the, uh, what's called vertex form. So in vertex form, remember that's f of x equals a and then x minus h, that quantity squared plus k. And the h and the k, they give you the vertex, right? And remember, flip the sign on there, uh, and that would be positive one. So positive one, and then the k value, there's nothing there, so that's like plus zero. So we don't have anything to really worry about, but our parabola would be right there and our a value is positive so that would open up so that we can confirm of course by going into desmos and graphing that and so we would have a parabola that looks like that so that's what our sketch would look like but first let's verify that in desmos so in desmos here we go so x minus one squared there we go so we've got our our x intercept right here at one zero we have a y intercept at zero one that's kind of cool i like how desmos does that all right, so the next one we're gonna take a look at, uh, so that was even degree, that was even degree. So what we're really focusing on here is this number right here, and what happens with that zero on the x-axis. Now we've got this other guy over here, x plus two, that quantity squared, and then x plus one. So this has two different things on there. So in the x plus one factor, that has an exponent of one, even though we don't write that. So let's pay attention to what happens right there. And we could start this sketch, right? Because we know one zero would be at negative two. Um, so if we go over to negative two, we know we've got a zero there. And at negative one, we have a zero there. So just from looking at the factors, I know what's going on. But again, we wanna pay attention to does the polynomial bounce or does it pass through? So let me let you hit pause and put that into Desmos and then let's check it out, see what we got. All right, so let's see here. Let's see what we got. So here's our function here. Oh, come on, Desmos, there we go. So here's our function, Lotus at negative two. Uh, it doesn't go above negative two, so it kinda, uh, right there at negative two, it'll bounce, and then over here at negative one, it goes through. So when I sketch that, and notice kind of the general shape of this too. Uh, the general shape of that, it looks like, you know, it's kind of cubic, an example. Yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, so, uh, so when I sketch it, so I'd come on up, I would bounce off of this, it's gonna drop down a little bit and then continue to go up and up and up. And just kind of as a reminder, uh, anytime you've got this low point, that low point right there, that's going to be what's called a relative min, a relative min, and this spot right here, that's kind of, I call it the top of a hill kind of thing, that's gonna be called a relative max. So make sure you write that down in your notes um, because we're gonna be talking about that soon. But notice, so again, here's the thing I want you to notice. This even degree right here, what happened on that zero? Did it bounce or did it pass through? So there's gonna be kind of a pattern there with that. And I want you to pause and then pick two other functions, any two other even functions you want from our notes. Go ahead and put them into Desmos and sketch them as well. And then answer the question there. How does the function behave at the zero for these polynomials? Does it bounce or does it pass through when you have an even degree for the factor? All right, so that's it for this video. Uh, we're gonna take a look at another one, just bouncing and passing along using odd degrees of multiplicity uh, from Desmos. So we're gonna take a look at a couple examples there. So be sure you come on back and check those out. And I will catch up with you guys soon. Be good out there. Peace. I love you. And I'll catch you later.